Hello everyone. So today let me show you something really cool and uh, people who use uh, DWM or Tiling Window Manager would appreciate or in fact anyone who is using Emacs uh, or mode uh, would definitely appreciate this uh, irrespective of their operating system. Now I use uh, DWM and uh, in DWM you can actually create tiles. For example if I have to open the terminal I can press uh, Alt Shift to Enter which is you know one of the binding and I can do whatever I want here. Now I can of course uh, press uh, uh, Alt Enter to basically swap the window. So now my Emacs is the master or primary window and uh, I can press Alt Enter again and of course I'm back to the terminal. So this is actually great because I don't really have to use my mouse. Now the thing is that in Emacs we also have to create sometimes uh, these uh, windows. So I, if I press Ctrl X3, I, I have like a vertical split. I can do a lot of wonderful things in uh, one of these windows. Of course, right now we have, you know, the same file open in both the windows, but I can, of course, you know, press Ctrl X, Ctrl F, and uh, I can do whatever I want in this particular uh, list. Maybe I want to install a package. So I can do list packages and it will, of course, open uh, the list of packages from Melpa repository on uh, my buffer my window which is on the left hand side now imagine you want to move for some reason you want to move your i mean of course if you have to go to the next uh, you know the next buffer or the next window not the buffer but the window on the right hand side i can do Control x o Control x o will basically cycle through all the open windows and this is fine but uh, let me show you one one really cool uh, command so if i uh run this command called uh, window swap states so i can type in here window swap and uh, states and if i press enter now wow we have this uh, window which is uh, the uh, which is the window which was earlier on the right hand side now on the left hand side basically you can uh, you know move it based on your preference i prefer working on the window which is on the left hand side i mean even if I, because i'm used to work on dwm now now the thing is that this is of course a command that you can run but uh, there is a way to also do it using uh, of course your own key binding now to set your set your own key binding what you can do let me actually open my dot emacs file it is not massively uh, <laughs> it is not really very uh, well organized file but it works so let me show you the um <clears throat> the the setting that you have to do so basically what you have to do is you have to configure this uh, key binding basically this key binding of your own choice for example i want uh, control x control enter to basically run this command now i can do control x control enter control x control enter control x control enter i mean this is of course wonderful because uh, this uh, is now giving me this ability to run a command and by the way you can do this with uh, I mean almost any command uh, or I mean any command basically so I mean I do have some commands I try not to use too many personal key bindings because you know there is a limit of how much you can remember or how much your fingers can uh, remember we all have uh, this uh, uh, muscle memory uh, I mean people who work a lot on computers they they use all the shortcuts but if you ask them can you please tell me the shortcut they won't know because their fingers know it and that is also the case with me i also sometimes uh, struggle to remember the actual command or the actual key presses not the command but the key presses i mean the good thing about emacs is that you don't have to remember each and every command what you can do is you can press meta x and you can then uh, you know take a look at all these wonderful things that you can do plenty of commands and you it will of course auto complete for you and it will also auto complete based on uh, whatever for example let us look at uh, menu here so if you type in here menu so it will basically give you all the options but uh, because the command was starting with uh, c so you can also do c menu and it will basically uh, do this uh, filtration for you on the fly so this is of course wonderful but again in most cases you want to uh, and at least know how to do it but more importantly you can use your own shortcuts your own uh, key bindings for your favorite commands like this thing that i have done here and that is it 
that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.